Sen Sensor Tower Bunker So there are two ways to go oh, about um, this build up. Uh, Cancelling the wrong card. Huh? So if I want to build barracks and I accidentally click on E, there's two ways. The first way is to click cancel. The second way is to click J, which is a short key to cancel. And the third way is to just select the worker again. And it would restart the default card. Okay, so supply default. Fusion core, armor, engineering bay, factor. So the thing here is that everything has to be done very very fast and uh, then it's uh, then it's fine. Otherwise I probably would consider it bad, I don't know how to do it. Because in the game itself, um, everything has to be done really, really quickly. And uh, that may not always take place. And that's bad. Because I will start piling up on resources and my opponent will just be spending them because he can uh, do everything really, really fast. Okay. Center tower, missile turret, barracks, <clears throat> factory, fusion core, bunker. Ghost Academy Command Center Fusion Core Barrack. So far, I like these buttons. Um, selecting uh, WX and WC is a bit more difficult. WX is for the sensor tower. W C is for the missile turret. So the missile turret is reasonably fine, but the sensor tower WX is uh, far more complicated to click, and that's the thing here, the bunker, the factory, sensor tower, engineering bay, factory, missile turret, armory, barracks, armory, Bunker, Engineering Space, Supply Depot, Bunker, Engineering Space, Armory, Engineering Space, Supply Depot, Missile Turret, Command Center, Fusion Core, Command Center, Engineering Space, Sensor Tower, Barracks, Bunker, Alright, uh, factory here sensor tower bunker engineering space starport engineering space missile turret the bunker supply depot sensor tower starport supply depot barracks starport factory sensor tower Armory, factory, refinery, starport, missile turret, bunker, ghost academy. Missile turret, armory, starport, missile turret, engineering bay, ghost academy, starport, command center, ghost academy, fusion car, command center. And sensor tower. Okay, it's time to move on to the hatchery. So, Hydra. What's that all about? Okay, so that's probably the Hydralis then. Extractor, Bearing's Nest, Roach Farm. Um, okay. 
so what do we have? What do I don't know? I don't know the Ultralisk Cavern, Nidus Network, and um, it looks like that's all. Okay, Ultralisk Cavern, Evolution Chamber, here Bayman's Nest, Spawning Pool, Infestation Pit. Hatchery, Supine Crawler, Spawning Pool, Hydralis Den, Supine Crawler, Spawning Pool, Ultralis Cavern, Spore Crawler, Hydralis Den, <coughs> Nidus Network, Extractor, Supine Crawler, Spawning Pool, Aspire, Evolution Chamber Bailing's Nest Infestation Pit Hatchery Ultralisk Cavern Hatchery Spawning Pool Nidus Network Spore Crawler Spire Roach Vine <coughs> Spore Crawler Evolution Chamber Infestation Pit Spine Crawler Evolution Chamber Roach Warren Hatchery Roach Warren Hatchery Ultralisk Cavern Extractor Sapphire What is that's air unit building? Infestation pit, evolution chamber, roach farm. Besides, it's a really good way of learning the names of the buildings. <clears throat> Ultralisk cavern, extractor, Nidus network, hatchery, spawning pool, extractor, infestation pit, spawning pool, infestation pit, evolution chamber, spire, the poor crawler. Nidus Network, Bonnie Pool, Hydralis Den, Evolution Chamber, Hatchery, Ultralis Cavern, Spine Crawler. Okay, Roach Warren, Extractor, Roach Warren, Hydralis Den, Spine Crawler. Nidus Network, Ultralis Cavern, Infestation Pit, Roach Warren, Evolution Chamber, Hatchery, Extractor, Spire, Roach Warren, Infestation Pit, Hatchery, Baby Nest, Spine Crawler, Ultralis Cavern, Spawning Pool, Hatchery, Roach Warren, Nidus Network, Extractor, Baby Nest, Infestation Pit, <coughs> Hatchery, Spawning Pool, Spire, Infestation with uh, Spire, Hatchery, Evolution Chamber, Ultralis Cavern, Spire, Spore Crawler, Spawning Pool, Hatchery, Spore Crawler, Spine Crawler, then uh, we go for Hydralis, then Spire, the Fine Crawler, Ultralis Cavern, Roach Warren, Infestation Pit, Spawning Pool, Evolution Chamber, Bailey's Nest, Nidus Network, Ultralis Cavern, Hatchery, Extractor, Hatchery, Ultralis Cavern, Spire, Ultralis Cavern, Evolution Chamber, Nidus Network, Bailey's Nest, Spine Crawler, Hydralis Den, Spire, Roach Warren, Evolution Chamber, Spawning Pool, Spore crawler, crawler, Evolution Chamber, Extractor, Evolution Chamber, Ultralis Cavern, Roach Warren, Hatchery, Spawning Pool, Bailing's Nest, The Hydralis Den. The Hatchery, Evolution Chamber, Infestation Pit, Ultralisk Cavern, Roach Warren, Extractor, Hydralisk Den, Spawning Pool, Hatchery, Hydralisk Den, Infestation Pit, Hatchery, Bamboo's Nest, Hatchery, 
Vine Crawler, Extractor, Spire, Roach Vine, Spine Crawler, Spire, Oceanist Cavern, Spore Crawler, Spine Crawler, Spire, Nidus Network, Hydro's Den, Spire, Spawning Pool, Spine Crawler. Okay. Where should they find this one here? Evolution chamber, the hatchery, Bayon's nest, spawning pool. I actually kind of normally look at um, the letters and cast in the unit, but really, I should look at the building animation because that's really how it goes down during the game. I kind of look if I've selected the right uh, unit, so this will make it a bit slower. Because now I'm trying to confirm that it's the unit, <coughs> by, but they're the building by looking at it, that's what I want to see. Okay. Spine crawler. Evolution chamber. Night network. Spine crawler. Infestation pit. Ultralist cavern. Roach fire. Spine crawler. Evolution Chamber, Nidus Network, Extractor, Nidus Network, Spire, Boar Crawler, Extractor, Spire, Bainlings Nest, Hatchery, Extractor, Nidus Network, Bainlings Nest, Hatchery, Spawning Pool, Infestation Pool, Roach Bar, Nidus Network, Squad Crawler, Ultralist Cavern, Veiling's Nest, Infestation Pit, let's see, right there, the Hatchery, Hydralis Den, Veiling's Nest, Hydralis Den, Veiling's Nest, another Veiling's Nest, Spine Crawler, Hatcher, Evolution Chamber. Okay, I can even build this with E. Normally, I would click uh, uh, the left mouse button to build, but uh, I don't have to. Really, so now, for example, I'm building with E. Okay, not not here. Boom! I just clicked on E. It can be done, but um, I wouldn't advise anybody because you kind of need to position everything. It's just that sometimes uh, the fingers, without a doubt, can Looks like I can build anywhere, anywhere on the map. Okay, spawning pool, extractor, evolution chamber, Nidus network, war crawler, okay, spawning pool, spore crawler, spore crawler, and spine crawl crawlers are uh, the most difficult ones to click currently in any case Bailing's Nest right there, Ultralist Cavern, Evolution Chamber, Bailing's Nest, Evolution Chamber, Extractor Infestation Pit, Ultralist Cavern, Spore Crawler, Nidus Network, Spire, Spore Crawler, Infestation Pit Roach Warren, Evolution Chamber, Hatchery, 
evolution chamber. Can't build there. Not sure it's warning pool. The station is literally scavenging roach warren, Nidus Network, Aspire, Bailing's Nest, Nidus Network, Roach Warren, Bailing's Nest, Extractor, Bailing's Nest, Hydrolyst, then Spine Crawler, Nidus Network, Hatchery. Spire Evolution Chamber Spine Crawler Spawning Pool Spine Crawler Hydralis Den Ultralis Cavern Spire Infestation Pit Evolution Chamber Bailing's Nest Infestation Pit Hatchery Extractor Hydralis Den Infestation Pit Spore Crawler Spine crawler, roach wine, spawning pool, extractor, nibus network, hydrolyst den, spawning pool, hydrolyst den, spire, bailing's nest, spore crawler, evolution chambers, spawning pool, spire, uh, Hydralis Den, Spine Crawler, Evolution Chamber, Hatchery, Roach Warren, Ultralis Cavern, Hatchery, Spire, Spore Crawler, Infestation Pit, Spawning Pool, Spire, Hatchery, Spore Crawler, Hydralis Den, Roach Warren, Evolution Chamber, Nidus Network, Spine Crawler. Okay, that's for that. Now, uh, what else do we have? These are buildings, unit production, research and upgrades, spells. So let's move into research and upgrades. Haven't done that. Pathogen glands, and there's a lot of these that I don't know yet. So, what is pathogen glands and where they are? So, pathogen glands increases the starting energy of investors by 25. Neural parasite allows investors to use the neural parasite to both. Them. Okay, pathogen glands. Research Q. complete. <clears throat> Enduring locusts. There is no such thing here. Evolve flying locusts. That doesn't look like it's gonna work out. Because it doesn't exist anymore. We're done with the research. Okay, so research complete. Allows locusts spawned by swarm host to fly. Flying locusts can use swoop to land and attack. As you can see, the enduring locusts are no longer. I queue this up so every time I click on it the building gets destroyed so if I end up in the boogie one I'll just work it out so chitinous plating chitinous plating grants ultralisks plus two armor we're done with the research borrow enables all czar ground units to use the borrow ability borrow allows the unit to take cover underground Rendering it unable to attack, a borrowed unit is invisible unless revealed by detectors or effects. Okay, there's one thing I need to check on this before I move further with this. And uh, what I'm talking about there is uh, how units attack while borrowed. So there is a way to uh, make sure that um, I noticed that there's another one unit tester map by ZCC. So I'm gonna go to a different one, different unit tester. I'm not sure if this is up to date. There's not much information on it. Yeah, 
in any case there's some kind of a command that I can click in order to get my vein links um, to umborrow and uh, attack the downside to this is that they umborrow a bit badly okay so what's happening here it looks like it's not working as you can see there are different maps but um, <clears throat> no, nothing really is going on here so I'll be heading back now and I'll move on to this one And I'm gonna play it for a bit. So, what I'm talking about is that there are a bunch of veilings. They can be borrowed. And then somehow, with a the right click, they will unborrow and attack. So, I right click the unborrow. And our animation has started, as you can see few clouds are just moving around trying to escape so here I'm launching these forward and the bellings moved out so that was interesting one so let's get these borrowed here we are the blades of iron and I want these to go close the bellings would um, um, borrow would umbar as you can see okay so it doesn't look to be hold position a complete disaster operation commencing okay hold position operation commencing oh yeah hold position hold position operation commencing oh yeah it's like I'm continuing to fuck her in any case I think she sounds very very um very very good in any case so here we get these guys borrowed and uh, give me orders? here I'm moving these guys for example forward and what happens they end up being blown to pieces by the building so uh, that's what we can get now how to kind of use this to its full potential so previously two of these survived what would happen if i would spread them out in a line would they all detonate i wonder or not it looks like in this case they all die but if i get them borrowed while they're clumped up they um all won't Time. So it kind of depends. Let's get uh, more Terran units in. Look at that. This is just this is like a proper mine. Armed and ready. This is a lot of Marines at the beginning of a game. Yes, sir. Boom. This would be Run devastating. Absolutely sure devastating thing. to. Of course. Just uh, go like that without for example a raven look at that this is hell of a lot of marines and they're just kind of moving forward and boom what's that what was that okay. okay let's get a few more medevacs so this is a proper proper attack you move forward this better be good. Go, go, go. Um, in, in the best case scenario, they just have to be sent you gonna give me orders? on a move order while What's going on? what you do is you build. 
and you get back and you realize, hey, this better be good. half of my army is gone. We'll do. And probably the way to do this is to have um, enough of these bailings. Okay, the other thing, uh, it could go down. Been waiting. Waiting on you. Is uh, on attack. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to issue an attack order while making sure Marines don't shoot. They would suffer uh, very similar damage. Otherwise, they would be able to get rid of the bailing. So, getting a good hit while they are borrowed is the thing here. However, that many marines will be able to spot the bailings. And as you can see there, the um, you gonna give me orders? Worked it out quite well. The other way to do this is to kind of wait, and detonate everything yourself. So you can, in fact, detonate them while they are underground, as you can see. So the limitation here is that these bailings, while on auto on burrow, would uh, have to unborrow before they detonate. By the numbers, boys. So if we get an army sure on smart. top of them, they would come out one by one and explode. While if I would be otherwise doing this manually, so they won't unborrow. If I would be doing this manually, I would detonate them while they are uh, still underground. So as you can see they never really came out of their caves underground. They just exploded there and did this better be good. the same damage output. 